Murphy, and we are going to be working on our strength today, um, but we're going to be working on it in a slightly different form. Today, we're going to be doing what I call the pyramid. So we're going to be working on each exercise for 40 seconds, then 20 seconds, and then 10 seconds. The goal is that first push is where you really want to give it your all, uh, knowing that the intervals will get shorter and shorter in time. So you can give that extra push uh, in each set that we do. And let me just adjust it. Each scrim is a little crooked. Now we're talking. Awesome. All right. So we've got Zoom. We've got Instagram going. Everyone bands on. Grab your water. We are going to be doing our upper body, our lower body, all the things. I see everyone getting bands on. Awesome. Lily, good to see you. Oh boy, we got a good crew today. Big sip of water if you've not already had one. And let's go ahead and come on up to start with our forearm hand clenches. So I'm going to aim this up a little bit so you can see. And now we're talking. All right, everybody come on up. Bands on, cycles going. And let's start. We've got 40 seconds, 20 seconds, and then 10, 10 seconds rest in between each round. So first set, 40 seconds, hands clench, hand clenches. Let's go ahead and get rolling. Working into these forearms. All right. And we will not be doing our cardio burst day. So I want you to give me everything you've got in terms of our set. Cool. Hope everyone is having a nice day so far. It is afternoon time here on the West Coast. A number of you are already in evening time. You can tell me what the future entails. Last 10 seconds. Everything you've got. Go, go, go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. 10 seconds rest. Shake it out. Do whatever you need to do. We've got our second set, only 20 seconds. I want you to give me everything you've got in three, two, one. 20 seconds, let's go. Squeeze in. Mm -hmm. Woo, I feel my forearms working. We're going, this is good. Awesome. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, 10 seconds. Our last set is only 10 seconds long, so I want you to go all in. This is the safest exercise you can possibly do. Give me everything you got. Ready, set, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome. Let's drop on down to our right side. Left hand presses into the mat. We've got 40 seconds. Side line tricep press. We're going in three, two, one. 40 seconds, all the way up. You can either hover or drop that shoulder down. Now we're doing the full 40, 20, and 10 on one side, and then we're going to switch. Good. So we have one upper body exercise and one lower body exercise where we're going to be alternating sides. And this is where we're really going to push that muscle to the point of fatigue. But I want you to keep trying, keep pushing, because our sets get incrementally smaller. Woo! Awesome. Keep going. Yes, there we go. Nice. Come on, come on. Get all the way up and off that shoulder. Fully straighten out the arm. Last 10. I know we're tired. Good. Five. Four. Three, two, rest. 10 seconds, and we're doing 20 seconds on that same side. Mm -hmm. We're staying on the right side. In three, two, one. Here we go, 20 seconds, up and down. Good. Many of you can do. Work that muscle to the point of full fatigue. Yeah, last 10. We have six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Ooh, quick break. You can move that shoulder around. 
Last set, as many as you can squeeze out in three, two, one. Work through it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Give me four more, four, three, two, and rest. Woo, good. Make your way over onto the other side. Wrap the bottom arm around the body, rooting the top hand into the mat. 40 seconds in four, three, two, and one. Up and down. Good. And you know from doing the first side what your pace roughly needs to be to keep going the whole time. So pick that pace, invest into it, and then push yourself a little bit harder. See if you can challenge yourself. Yeah. Great. We are half done. And there we go. Good. Last 10 seconds. Keep going. This is the hardest one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 10 seconds rest. Now we have 20 seconds. So setting that hand up. We're going in three, two, one. 20 seconds. Here we go. Sideline trap. Good. Trying to not let that shoulder hit the ground too hard the whole time. So pushing up, but we're also resisting down. Awesome. Half done. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Ooh, take that break. Last 10 second push in four, three, Two, let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, killer. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, everybody up to stand. We have our bicep curl. Now, we know that we can move slower, smaller range of motion or you can move fast, bigger range of motion. And that I'm gonna leave up to you, okay? Today, I'm going faster, squeezing out as many reps as I can with the aim of building a little bit leaner muscle. That's my jam. If you wanna bulk your muscle, smaller reps, slower pace. 40 seconds, we're going three, two, one, bicep curl. Ooh, we're pumping weight. More so we're just pumping bands, good. Come on. Awesome. Woo. Nice. 40 seconds. Let's go. Half done. Feel those cycles working. Pick it up. If you're going fast, let me see you really move it. Last 10. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right. Second set, pick up those imaginary weights. We're going in four, three, two, let's go. 20 seconds, pump it. And sometimes we build strength by going for smaller movements and sometimes we just go fast and really fatigue that one muscle. Last 10, go, 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 yes. Six, five, four, three, two, rest. Oh, my little biceps are hurting. All right, last set in four, three, two, as many as you can. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh, my goodness. All right, grab a sip of water, then we're going to make our way down for military planks. We start on our forearms. We press up into regular plank, and then we come back down. So everyone go ahead and make your way onto hands and knees. We're gonna start in 10 seconds by stepping back into forearm plank. All right, so everyone start to make your way back. All right, so we're going up, up, down, 
down. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Let's go. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. I want you to try and keep that movement isolated in the upper body. So I go elbows under shoulders, wrists under shoulders. Elbows under shoulders, wrists under shoulders. Keep it up. Yes. Amazing. Half done. Good. Keep going, keep going. Last 10. In five, we're going to drop the knees for that rest. Three, two, and one. Rest. Drop your knees. All right. Starting again on the forearms. Second set in three, two, one. 20 seconds. Step back into plank. Let's go. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Keeping my hips as stable as I can. Awesome. Woo. Half done. After this, we have two more exercises. Five, four, Three, two, rest, 10 seconds rest. And we've got our last 10 seconds of full out sprint. Give me everything you've got. Make your way into forearm plank. 10 seconds in three, two, one. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven. Yes, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody drop your knees. Give those shoulders a roll. All right, next up, we have staggered push-ups. We are going to be alternating arms, so you're not fully going to die on one side. What this looks like is I come into a plank position. I take my left hand forward, push-up, side, push-up, back, push-up. Okay, then I do the other side. Left hand, then right hand. I'll start everyone off by doing it together. So get those cycles going. Make your way into plank position. We're going in three, two, one. Take the left hand forward. Push up, side, push up, back, push up. Right hand, forward, Woo. side, and back. Keep moving. Hips in line with shoulders. Keep that back flat the whole time. Awesome job. Half done. Yeah, that's a lot of push-ups. And that's what we're going for. Build that strength. This is the longest set of these you're going to have to do. Mm -hmm. Eight. Seven. Six. Don't stop now. Five. Four. Three. Two. And rest. That's a lot. That's definitely a lot. All right. We're going again, this time starting with the right hand in three, two, one, 20 seconds. Let's go. And we call this the pyramid because we start with our longest set at the bottom and then we slowly work up to our shorter set. Woo! Awesome, yes, strong Tuesday. Last seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and rest. In 10 seconds, we're going to do 10 seconds. Ready? Make your way into plank position. We're going again in three, two, one. Give me two full sets, right arm and left arm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everybody grab a sip of water, take a break, a pause, and we're gonna work into our last exercise for the upper body. Nice job. Thirsty today, toasty in Santa Monica. All right, last up, we're coming all the way down onto our forearm. We're going out, out, in, in. So I go left arm, right arm, left arm, right arm. Out, out, in, in. My body does not move. Only my arms are doing the work. Out, out, in, in. The further you go out, the harder it's gonna be. 
Let's make our way down into a forearm plank. We're going in five, four, three, two, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. That's the work. Awesome. <laughs> good, Sophie and Cindy looks great. Mary, keep doing what you're doing. Jeff looks good. Nice, Diane. See some trees? Beautiful. We are half done. Good. Making sure that the hips are not piking up. We want to keep our hips in line with our shoulders. The back stays flat. The work is in the upper body. Out, out, in, in. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop the knees. Ten seconds. I know it can get a little like rash on the forearms, I'm sorry. All right, make your way into forearm plank. We're going again in three, two, one. 20 seconds, let's go. Out, out, in, in. Keep pulling your heels back away from your head the whole time you do it. Nice, because I got Awesome, Lily. Woo, there we go. We are half done. Only 10 seconds left, don't stop now. Seven, six, five, four. Breathing. Three, two, and rest. We have 10 seconds in 10 seconds. Make your way into forearm plank. We're going again in three, two, one. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and rest. Everyone come on up, stand. Right arm across the body. Sorry, left arm across the body. Move that right arm around. Good. Right arm across the body. Move your left arm around. Clasp your hands, reach the base of the palms up to the sky. Draw some circles, getting into the shoulders. Other way. And let's go ahead and bring our arms down, swapping out our arm bands for leg bands and having the question of the day. Good job, gang. A lot of work packed into a short period of time. We did not take much rest. The question of the day is, do you have a favorite brand of athletic clothing? And if so, what is it? And why do you like it? I'm always curious to learn more about different brands. <laughs> I feel like this is kind of a Sophia and Sydney question. I have a hunch you girls might know. George says old. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Just old clothes? <laughs> Steve says, whatever my wife and children buy me. See, this is why I need a wife. Like, I need someone to buy me a lot of clothes. That sounds great. <laughs> oh, boy. I see the twins are coming in. They're like, oh, we got ideas. <laughs> Honestly, for me, I wish I could give recommendations, but my favorite is anything that's soft and not see-through. Those are my criteria for yoga pants. And if I can put them in the washing machine. I don't like to hand wash. Okay, so and City. Joylin because they have the best swimsuits. Interesting, I'll have to look into that. I have one Patagonia swimsuit that's lasted me like four years. And that's my favorite because I like anything that'll last more than one season. Ooh, Athleta is good too. I really like Athleta. I used to actually teach for them. They're a good friend. They're also B Corp. Yay. He says, Joylin bikinis are the hottest thing in aquatics. I had no idea. Wow. George has stuff that's 30 to 40 years old. Well, you know, if it lasts, you should absolutely share the brand if it lasts, George, because that's, I want something that lasts that long. <laughs> my guess is it just kind of withhold time. All right, 
now that we've learned all about the hottest trends in aquatics for this summer, we can work our lower bodies. If you die, I'm laughing at us. All right. Okay, tighten up those bands. Uh, we're going to start with some leg circles just to wake everything up, warm it up a bit, and then we're going to work into our calves. So shifting weight into left foot, right leg up, 30 seconds per side, open and close, keeping the body stable. I'm going to start with some standing balance, might as well, then we'll dive into the rest of our work, and I need to get my cycle going. Now we're talking. Wow, the hottest trend in aquatics. I wonder what the hottest trend in yoga pants is. I know there's a brand named Aloe that's really popular, but their stuff just, it doesn't withhold. It starts to get raggedy. And I'm like, what instructor that's actually crawling around on the floor teaching can wear this stuff? Not stable enough, sturdy enough. Good, three, two, one, and release. Other side, 30 seconds. I don't care if your foot is this far off the floor, or this far off the floor. Work into it. Do your best. Awesome. Good. Last 10. Then we're going to go into our sumo heels, which are one of my favorite and the hardest calf workouts. Three, two, one. All right. Calves, step those feet really wide, angle your toes out, making sure that the knees are tracking over our second and third toe, no sloppy stuff. Press those knees out, get your butt low. Now get your butt even lower, 40 seconds, heel lift, three, two, one. And you can adjust how difficult this is by how low you wanna go. Woo, and you can do whatever you want with your hands. Ooh. Keep it up. Good. I don't know why. This is just like my hands is no choice. <laughs> For any exercise we do, I'm like, ah, there we go. Nice. Maybe you want to drop lower into it. Maybe you want to pick up the pace. Maybe you want to do it without letting your heels touch the floor the whole time. There are many, many variations of the same exercise. Good. Try not to let your heels touch. Drop your butt even lower. Yes. Last 10. Ooh, there we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. 10 seconds and we're dropping right back into it. If you want more of a challenge, hands behind the head. We're going in four, three, two, let's go. 20 seconds, make them fast, get low, make them good. Make them count. There we go. Nice. Awesome. Yes. Working on that balance, too. Keep pressing the knees open. Don't let them get sloppy. Last 10. Up and up. Eight. Seven. Faster. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And rest. I'm shaking. I don't know about you guys. Woo. We're dropping into it again. In four. Three. Two. Let's. Go, now get as low as you can. Now we got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Really shaking at the bottom there, that's what we want. Next up, we're gonna keep working in that same position, a low lateral lunge. So, I want you to get low, and then I want you to get lower, rock it side to side, Try not to let your legs straighten at any point in time, okay? So whether this is your low or this is your low, I don't care, but no coming up, all right? Let's get low. 40 seconds. In three, two, one. Stay low. Work side to side. Work yourself even lower if you can. Yes. Woo. And after those sumo heel lifts, your legs are already going to be really tired. But that is the point of our strength building work, is you go to the point of fatigue. That's how we grow stronger. Even lower. Come on. 
Worst thing that happens, you have to stand up. At least you push yourself and you try. Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Last 10 seconds. Lower. You can do it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rise on up. Nice work. 10 seconds rest. You can kick it out. All right, let's set ourselves up again. Step wide, get low. We're going in three, two, one. Lateral low lunge, side to side, 20 seconds. Don't bob and rise. Nice. Good. Woohoo, Diane, I see it. Jeff, killer, I love it. Last eight. Seven, awesome Lily, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. How good does it feel to straighten your legs after that? I'm always like, ah. All right. Last set, 10 seconds, low as you can go in three, two, one. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and one. Come on up to stand, circle of hips around. All right. I mentioned that we have one lower body and one upper body exercise where we're drilling into one side. This is that exercise. We're continuing on our lunge brigade and we're gonna do the curtsy lunge. Now you're gonna step the left foot over to the right, 40 seconds, down and up. Okay, now I'm not in a reverse lunge. It's not straight back behind me. It's over to the other side. Now, keep the front knee squeezed in. Don't let it sway, okay? So let's set ourselves up. Left foot over to the right. 40 seconds in three, two, one. Drop into it, down and up. If you wanna make it harder, pulse it out at the bottom. The lower you stay, the more challenging it's gonna be working into your hips and glutes. Yes, fantastic. Good, see if you can get lower, go slower. Or maybe get lower and go faster, but keep that back knee dropped off the ground, half done. It's gonna be a hard one because we're really drilling into that one leg. Mm -hmm. Last 10, get so low, your knees almost touching the floor, pulse into it, eight, seven, six, five, squeeze your butt, four, three, two, and rest. We're gonna work right into that same leg again. Ooh, take that quick break. Step over into it. We're going again in three, two, one. 20 seconds, let's go. Yes. Get that back knee so low, it's almost touching the floor, and then squeeze like heck through here. Get your core involved as well. Always helps with stability. Nice. I know, hold it, hold it, pulse it, work it. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. I see people like coming out of it like, whoa. <laughs> All right, final set of this side. We've only got 10 seconds. Step that foot over, we're going in four, three, two, here we go, 10. Nine, eight, smaller movement, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hover, hold for four, three, two, and now come out of it. I know that was cruel at the end there, but we did it and we did great. All right, second side. Step your right foot over to the left, 40 seconds in three, two, one, get low, work into it. Uh, making sure that chest is up, spine stays straight the whole time. Great. Nice, Jeff. Good. Whatever you need to do with your hands, do with your hands. We are half done. Smashing the curtsy lunge. Looks good. Hi, Chris. Good to see you. Awesome. 
Little lower, little lower. All out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. You can always kind of rock the hip side to side to release this space. It burns, I know. All right. Start to step that right foot over. Second set, 20 seconds. In three, two, one. Let's go. Get your back knee down. Keep it down. Try not to let the legs straighten at any point in the work. Ooh, good. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Five, four. Don't straighten that leg. Three, two, and one. Come on out of it. We have our final set after this. I see people starting to get tired. We're like, oh man, but we're doing great. We've got one more set. Step the right foot over. Ready, set, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it, four, three, two, and one. We did it, good job. Grab some water. We have three more things we're doing for the lower body, okay? So we're already half done with our work. We've done so great. We did our single side exercise that really torches the muscles. So we're only getting better from here. All right, next up, good old fashioned air squat. We're simply going down and up. Now, there are many, many, many ways that we can make an air squat harder. And this is where you get to choose your own adventure. Maybe your air squat is in fact a pulse. Maybe it's a pulse with your hands behind your head. Maybe it's super fast. Maybe your arms are up. And I'm gonna let you choose that. My recommendation is either work one end or the other. So go super fast, or pulse into it, go super slow. Or you can play with different variations. 40 seconds of air squats, you get to choose what you wanna try. On your mark, get set, here we go. I'm going pulse. Yeah, and make sure that your weight is in your heels. So especially if you're going for that pulse, dance your toes off the floor. That means your weight's in your heels and then you can release them back down. Keep working it. Good, and if you just, need cardio today, like Laurel, I'm dying without my cardio. Make it a jump squat. Try not to let your legs straighten the whole time. So even if you're going fast, down, up, down, up. Yes, half done. Awesome. Oh, good. I know. Last seven. Six, if you're pulsing lower, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up, 10 seconds rest. All right, good job. Do you wanna make it harder? Whichever variation, hands behind the head. We're going in four, three, two, let's go. 20 seconds, air squats or squat pulses. Drop it low. Yes, woo. Work those quads, work those glutes. Have done already. Even lower. Yes, make sure your knees are slaying out, not in. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hi, yeah, yeah. All right. Last 10 seconds. In four, three, two, drop into it. Let's go. 10, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Round of applause. Water if you want it. Next up, we're going, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, another variation of squat. This one's really hard. Your choice, whether... You want to go knees to squat, jump, down, down, jump. Or I encourage trying it, because why not? You don't know unless you try. Or you can go 
up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. So we worked into two sets of lunges, two different squat variations. If you want to try the jump, it's knees, jump, down, down, jump. <sighs> it's fun. It's silly. It's hard. Makes you stronger. Whichever variation you want to take. And if it's too sensitive on the knees, you're doing another round of air squats. All right. Make your way down. 40 seconds. In four, three, two, let's go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't be too many jumpers. Totally understand. It was a little crazy. I went there. I thought maybe someone might be feeling it. I don't take any offense if it's too much. <laughs> Good. Nice to that. Whichever variation you're doing, whether you're stepping, you're jumping, you're pulsing, stay low. Fantastic. Great job, Instagram, as well. Half done. I know. It's hard. Our legs are tired. That's the goal. We only have one more exercise after this. Last 10. Get even lower. And if you're still doing air squats, that's a whole lot of squats, and your butt might be sore tomorrow. And that's how we build strength. Six, five, four, three, two. And finally, let those legs straighten. Do some butt kicks to open up the quads. I'm thirsty. I'm going water. All right. We're going again. Drop down to the knees in four, three, two, and one. Either up, up, down, down. You can jump or you can work into that same range. Either way, these are the muscles that are working. It's only 20 seconds. Yeah. If you want more of a challenge for any of those variations, challenge one, challenge two. Half done. New last 10. Give me five, four, nice, three, two, and one. I saw a jump from the twins. Awesome. We have one more set. Ten seconds in ten seconds. Then we have our final lower body exercise of the day. And then we get to do some core. All right. Drop down. Last ten seconds. Three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Woo. Couple butt kicks. Release it. Okay. Last up. We've done many, many, many rounds of this. Normally, we do 30, 20, 10. Today, we're doing 40, 20, 10 because it's just that kind of day. Mountain climbers, make your way back down onto your hands. Drop those knees. And the only person you are up against today is yourself. I want you to count how many mountain climbers you do on your first set. And then I want you to cut that number in half and add 10 as your goal for your second set. So we're not cutting back on our effort. We are pushing ourselves harder each time. Step your way back into plank. 40 seconds in four, three, two, climb it out. And only you know what is truly safe for your body. I will continue to encourage, push, and cheer the whole time. If it is not right and you are too tired and your form is compromised, I need you to recognize that and pause. Half done. Otherwise, keep pushing. Keep growing. Whew. Yes. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, all in, 6. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Take that number, cut it in half, add 10. That's your goal, okay? We're going again. Make your way back into plank. We have three, two, one. 20 seconds, go. Mm -hmm. Half done. Four, three, two, one. Drop those knees. 
Cut that number in half. Add five. Make your way into plank. Last set, only 10 seconds. Come on, three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Ooh, sheesh, drop your knees, press your butt back to your heels, give those arms a break. You can let your forearms rest on the floor, or you can start to walk your hands forward, getting those elbows up and off the mat, working into the shoulders. Keep your head or rock side to side. No, no more mountain climbers. And then start to walk your hands back up towards your body. It is time for our core. So we're doing pyramid style for two core exercises. The first one are hands to heel crunch. Down, get your heels. Down, get them. The second one, reverse crunch. What are we really working here? On the first one, we're working our lower abs because our legs are off the floor. But I want you to really, really focus on your upper abs, getting as much of the upper body up and off the floor as you can. Okay? Whenever we lift our shoulders, we're working uppers. Whenever we work, lift our legs, we're working lowers. So on the second exercise, oh yeah, we know what we're firing up. Okay? First 40 seconds, hands to heel crunch. Three, two, one. Let's get that core up and down. And for this one, I don't really care how many you do. I want you to really focus on getting up and off the back. Fantastic, Kaziah, killing it. Uh, hi. 40 seconds of these is hard. We start out really fast and we're like, oh, that's tough. Half done. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Give me at least two more. Five, four, three, two, rest. Pull your knees into the chest. Catch your breath. Take a break. We're going again. Stack the legs in tabletop in three, two, one. Get it. 20 seconds. And we already did our hardest set. Half done already. Love 20 second intervals. Good. One more, four, three, two, rest. For our next set, we have 10 seconds. I want you to think about only doing one to two reps and really finding contact between hands and heels. Legs and tabletop. We're going in three, two, one. 10 seconds, go for it. Yes. Five, four, three, two, Rest. All right. Last core exercise of the day, reverse crunch. Even if you only get your butt one millimeter off the ground, I don't care because your core is going to be working to even keep your legs up and however high you can get them up requires work. So let's give ourselves a little edge before we do this. Grab the back of the legs, pull the knees in five times, extend the legs towards straight and release. It's really hard to get your legs up and off the floor if you can't even keep them in a 90 degree angle with your body because your hamstrings are so tight. Good, one more for good measure. Now, extend those legs up, hands come down by the sides. 40 seconds, let's go up and down. And I know this is a difficult one, but take your time and think about working the lower part of your spine higher and higher off the floor each time. If you need more of a challenge, extend your arms up towards the sky. Ooh wee. Half done. Awesome. Last 10. Give me five, 
four, three, two, and one. Knees into the chest, release the back. All right. Next set, we have 20 seconds. Legs up, on your mark, get set. Here we go. And I want you to try not to let your legs drop. So keep them in 90 degrees. Up, whoop, up, and stop. Good, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Only 10 more seconds. All right, legs up. We're going in three, two, one. Give me 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone root your feet in some out and slowly press your butt off the floor into bridge. We just did a lot of rounding of the spine, and I want to make sure you let our spine bend the other way. Check to make sure your knees are not playing out to the sides. Two arrows pointing straight up towards the ceiling. And just hold here for a moment. And slowly start to lower your butt down. Windshield wiper your knees side to side. Roll over onto one side. Reach your top hand back. Grab your top ankle. Pull the knee back. Getting a quad stretch. We did a lot of squat stuff today. As you do this, keep pressing your hip bones up towards your chin. And nice. All right. Start to make your way over onto your other side. You can just roll over. I'm going to flip around so I can see you guys. Reach back with your top hand. Grab that top ankle. Pull the knee back. Press the hip bones up. Right, keep drawing the heel towards the butt and try not to let your knees splay open too much. So keep pulling that knee down. I know it's a lot. Okay. And release it. Make your way over onto your belly. Press yourself up to stand. Come into a forward fold. Rock it side to side. Grab opposite elbow. With the elbows hang even deeper. And then release the elbows, shake your head. Yes, you did it. Roll up nice and slowly to stand. And last thing, hands behind the head, rotate side to side to release the spine. Always important to keep our spine moving. Otherwise, it becomes really easy to pull the muscles of the lower back, the quadricemborum. And that is not a fun pull to have. And then arms up, big stretch, and release the hands down. Give yourself a round. Awesome job. Tomorrow, we will be working into balance stuff, which is one of my favorite days. Have a good Thank Monday. You. Go get her.